Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I'm going to talk about a good experience from a good friend of mine, good friend of mine, uh, who was my colleague in the medical school uh, in the 70s uh, and the late 60s at the time. It was Dr. Hani Sobke who became a consultant uh, psychiatrist. Dr. Hani Sobke was from a middle class Egyptian family, a religious family. His father was one of the top scholars of Al Azhar, Al -Azhar. Uh, and he, they were living in a place in Cairo called Abbasiyah, which is uh, not far from our university in Nasr City. And uh, Dr. Hani Sobke was an artist and loved to compose music, attract, write his own mu uh, pieces and play it on the piano, he has got piano and oud as well and he had all this in his house. Uh, our college or our medical school was in Nasser city, it was actually in the middle of the desert and we used to uh, go to sit in his, uh, his flat in Abbasia, his family flat and uh, to have a break, have a cup of tea, have some snacks with him and he used to use this opportunity to play some of his uh, pieces he wrote himself. And we used to sit in the front room or the sitting room and pretending that we like what he composed and what he like what he plays for us and yani, nodding our head without understanding anything. But by the time he realized because was, he was he's very intelligent that actually we are not interested in his music. Uh, he used to play another piece from Mukalsum songs or Muhammad Abduhab or Abdul Halim Hafiz. And at that time, every one of us used to hail and deal and jump. I said, "Beautiful, honey, did you write this?" And he used to come and stand up, stand up and said, "Oh, son of so and so and so." Why? This is a Mukalsum, this is Abdul Rahab music, this is whatever it is. It was in a very humorous way. So in 2006, uh, Islamic Cliff decided to go to the field of actually having these superstars to be their ambassadors, the ambassadors of Islamic Cliff. I had my reservation because I always say that the, the, the superstar should not be higher or treated higher than the status of the organization itself. So we went to Cairo and we invited him because of his connection with the artists, different artists, and to come to our office in Nasr City, Islamic Reef office in Nasr City, and he came. And I remember that he said to us, don't ever work with the such artists, maybe actors, actresses, and others, famous people, and uh, and they get the relationship to become like a Catholic marriage and use them or give them the lead to lead your events which becomes to lead later on to lead the organization and uh, he said why because those actors and actresses will while they are acting in, in a drama or in a movie, they live the issue of the characters they uh, uh, show to the public. And sometimes they bring what they're feeling when they become, uh, they might be playing as a as, uh, freedom fighter, playing as uh, what do you call it, uh, thief, as a corrupt man, as a king, whatever it is. So he, what he told us at the time, please don't uh, have the relationship with them for a longer period of time, like the Catholic marriage. And uh, his advice was taken seriously, alhamdulillah. And uh, what he said again, take them piece by piece and let them to the relationship between you and them to be piece by piece, not actually to be uh, uh, for a year or two or three or five without ending. Alhamdulillah, we're still using his advice uh, up till now. And it was a great and sound advice for us. And this only not for all of us, 
as Islamic Libba to, for everyone who would love to use those kind of artists, actors and actresses and the famous people, don't have a very long and solid relationship with them. Use them for the event and, but, and, and at the same time, don't actually, uh, at the same time, don't let them to lead the organization that you run. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.